Good morning, YouTube. What's happening, guys? You guys have tuned into the Best Price Nutrition YouTube channel. You can check out our website at bestpricenutrition.com. We have over 20,000 SKUs. We got a 14,000 square foot warehouse back here, and we're constantly bringing in new products. And I'm John, this is Brad, and today we're going to be taking a look at Myoblox Skywalk. Uh, they're all new flavor, part of the Evil Genius series, and this is a limited edition, meaning over only a thousand of these uh, were made. So you want to tell them about it, Brad? Yeah. So the Red Rum series there is a, my, or a Skywalk version, a Loco pre-workout version, and then a 24-7 Aminos version. You can check out the 24-7 Aminos video that we did, it will be in the description. Um, and the other two, this one Loco and the 24-7 Aminos had like different ingredients in there that kind of make them limited edition. I'm having mass allergies. <laughs> and um, this one actually doesn't. It doesn't even say Skywalk on there, so I think they're trying to make this like its own product. But it seems to be pretty much the same label as Skywalk. Um, Skywalk is probably like the most used product in this office, at least by me. Um, and the flavors always are really, really good. I think the first one we tried was the apple caramel, and, and that and one kind of got us all hooked. And I, th I think it's looking like that's one been, that one's been discontinued, which I was yeah. really yeah. disappointed by. Very unfortunate. Myoblox, if you're watching this video, bring back caramel apples yeah. from everybody's heart in this office. <laughs> I think we have one in the store. Now, what, uh, what we were curious about that we kind of mentioned in the last video is these are all part of the Red Rum series, but they have different names. So we're, we're kind of curious whether they all share the same flavor, flavor or whether each one's going to be, be a different flavor. I think I smell that candy corn smell again. I don't know. It smells a little bad, yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm just huffing this stuff. I think this is going to be the same as the, uh, the previous. So with the 24-7 Aminos, which I don't think we have any. Yeah, it's 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 24-7 Aminos was a Cherry Jolly Rancher flavor, spot on for Cherry, yeah. cherry Jolly Rancher. Yeah, very like specifically brand name Jolly Rancher. No cheap off-brand stuff, that was actual Jolly Rancher. And you know that I think about it, when we had tried the non-limited edition uh, version, isn't there a Jolly Melon of the 24-7 as well? There is. So we got the Watermelon Jolly Rancher, which I imagine is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If it's anything like the Cherry, and we tried the Cherry Jolly Rancher. Yeah, it seems like they kind of had the Jolly Rancher flavor profile down. You know, it's kind of slowed down for a while. We were seeing, because, uh, you know, with, with supplements, most people don't want to actually pay to license the flavors, so... That's why you get chocolate peanut butter as opposed to Reese's Pieces. Yeah. yeah. And for a while, it was like everybody was partnering with mainstream food brands. We had what? There was an Icy Sparta. There was the Cocoa Pebbles, Fruity, Fruity Pebbles. Pebbles. Um, there, was, there was quite a few of them. Some other brands that I don't carry, but I've done Chips Ahoy yeah. and other things like yeah. that. So I think, I think that was all pre-COVID. That was like when that started ramping up. So maybe once things lighten up, that'll uh, come back out again. Oh, this might be, might be different. It smells like Jolly Rancher. Whoa. Pixie stick. Yeah, I can see that. These must all be Halloween candies. That yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Very smooth. I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's either a pixie stick or like maybe like a Smarties or something like that. It could be Smarties. Evil genius, genius, smart, smarties, maybe. Yeah, it's good, whatever it is. I like it. I didn't think it was, it opened yeah, up. It's really weird, you can't put a fruit flavor. It's like it's not yeah. cherry, it's not watermelon. It's like candy fruit. That's good. I like that. I like this a lot more than the last two flavor. And then what, you said this one does or doesn't have a, a, an additional ingredient? From what I read online, it doesn't. And when I was looking at it, it looks like it's the same exact thing. I don't know why they want to do anything different, but it's still a really good formula. Um, I'll go over it just because there's nothing different, but L-tyrosine in one scoop, 1,500 milligrams, alpha-GPC, 400 milligrams, Nuganda, which is organic liposomal ashwagandha, 250 milligrams. You get 75 milligrams of dynamine. I actually didn't know that. That might be different. I think that might be different. Is there dynamine in the regular I don't believe so. So that might be what's different. Um... And then there's like the, the focus blend. If there is, if that dynamite's not in the other one, then that actually would add quite the kick in there. And you, for anybody who, I know nootropics are probably one of the fastest growing categories in for terms sure. of popularity, but I know a lot of people haven't tried stuff like this. You know, a lot of people do pre-workouts, but they haven't tried a nootropic or haven't tried some of these nootropic powders. 
a lot of great products. I mean, we're a huge fan of this one, but you've got Alpha EAA and a yeah. number of other similar products. And this is great for somebody who's not a coffee drinker. Uh, yeah. Maybe somebody who just wants to keep something in their desk for when you start kind of crashing in the afternoon. But great for energy without being over the top energy and kind of a cognitive uh, cognitive boost. Yeah, it's it's pretty much no matter who uses it, you're going to like it. But no matter what you're doing, you could use it as a pre workout. Actually, I bet a lot of people could because I I think it's just me who's pretty caffeine tolerant. Well, but if you're well, not, and you can take it. It's uh, a one scoop or a two scoop serving. So. At two scoops, that could be a, a decent pre-workout. Yeah, because that'd be 400 caffeine, 150 dynamine. That's that's a good amount of stimulants right there. Um, but yeah, I really like the dynamine in there. I, I have to look. I, I don't think that's in there. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. Flavor, really, really good. I would say, I would say Smarties. Yeah. And again, uh, only 1,000 of these were made. We were only able to get in a, a certain number of them as well. So if anybody wants to try this out, these special edition flavors tend to go fast. Uh, so definitely... Act sooner rather than later. Yeah. Once they're gone, they are gone. They're gone for good. All right. Thanks, guys. Later, guys.